Hey guys, I want to show you how to set up your Mojo call settings and what to do with your contacts after you've spoken to them. Uh, so here we are about to start our power dialing session. And top left, you'll see the number of contacts to reach your goal. I highly recommend you set your goal as 100 contacts per week. Uh, top left, you have two options on how to start your calls. You can call from where you last left off, or you can call from top to bottom. Uh, last left off is very popular with expires or FISBOs. Um, calling from top to bottom, you might want to do it for your follow-up calls, or sometimes for your expireds, if you want to hit those new expireds over and over again. Uh, your next setting is going to be your caller ID, and um, I recommend two options: uh, your personal number, uh, if you want to get calls back, or an office line with a voicemail, uh, if you don't want to get inundated with phone calls while you're making your calls and in the zone, uh, which is what I will set at mine as right now. Uh, voicemail message drop if you want to. Leave a voicemail. You can create a voicemail or you can select one from the list that you can just drop with the click of a button whenever you hear a voicemail. Callback message. If you're using more than one line, you need to select a callback message, and there's two great options. One is blank space, and one is the hello, 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 hang up the phone. Uh, basically, that no one's there. Uh, so, whichever one you choose is up to you or anything else you want to use. And people will get this message if more than one person answers the line. Um, and you will actually call them back next in line after you get done talking to the person you're speaking with. Uh, here are the number of lines you choose to dial with. Pretty self-explanatory. The more lines, the faster you'll get pickups. I'm going to select one for this test. The number of rings. Uh, I usually do five rings if I don't want to leave voicemails or seven rings if I do want to leave voicemails. Uh, four rings is just too short, especially considering mobile phones don't often start ringing until the third ring. Your calling script. Uh, if you have some scripts, you can select your calling script here and choose if you want it to automatically pop up when someone answers the phone. Same with your, with your lead sheets. If you want to select a lead sheet, you would select it there. You can filter out contacts who have future calls or appointments scheduled, and that's often useful uh, to stop yourself from calling someone uh, that you already have an appointment to call maybe next week or next month or what have you. Allow dialing on linked contacts. I don't really see why you would check that. Um, do not call mobile phones. Also, um, self-explanatory if you don't want to call mobile phones. So let's start our dialer. I'm not actually going to call a person. I'm actually going to pause this as soon as it starts. I'm not going to call that. It's not even a real number. I uh, put in some bogus info just to show you guys how this works. <clears throat> so once you're calling, this is what pops up. Um, your calling script may or may not pop up. If it's popped up, you just hide it right here. Uh, you click the little Zilla button and it will open the property listing if it was an actual address. But since this is bogus info, it's not an actual address. But sometimes I like to open up the listing while I'm talking to someone to see if maybe it's back live or uh, get an idea of what we're talking about here. Uh, obviously, address would be here, name. Uh, let's say you talk to someone um, and they're, they're a good contact. You need to make some notes. You can make your notes here. Now, um, when you're talking to someone or if, or if they are a contact, make sure you pause it down here and don't just hang up or click one of these buttons without making your notes. Whenever you talk to someone, um, if they are the person that owns the home, they are considered a contact for this program. Um, but then again, don't click the word contact until you've selected a group. Whenever you speak with someone, you need to move them to a group so that they are pulled out of the team folder and they go into your direct folder so they're now your lead and you can call them later. So whenever you speak with someone, you need to set up a follow-up call so you call them again later so you don't forget about them and you need to move them to whatever group they need to be moved to. Uh, by doing those two things you are then able to click contact and move on to the next person. Obviously make some notes. If you do not speak to the owner, if you speak to nothing, um, it's a no contact if there's no one there. Now next number is next number um, in line for that same property. Next record is call the next property. If you speak to someone, they say you have the wrong number. It's a bad number. If you get a fax, you know some weird so noises. It's a bad number. Uh, if you want to drop a message, or if you left a message, you would click this button. Do not call contact. If someone says do not call me again, don't call them again. But you need to find out if they own the home. If you can't figure out if they own the no home, you put do not call number. Or if they don't own the home, do not call number. If they tell you yes, that's my home, do not call me again. Then it's do not call the contact. So we're not going to call that address ever again. Quick callback uh, is if you want to set, let's say they say call me in an hour, you can set a callback reminder to call them in an hour. I redial is to call them back if they hung up. Uh, pause is 
pretty self-explanatory. Pause, hang up, hangs up the phone, and then stop stops your entire dialing session. Um, stops calling everybody. Pause does not stop it. If you have other lines dialing, they could answer. Uh, so be careful with that. Uh, but that's that's how you handle them. Up here, you'll have your numbers for the day. You know your total daily contacts, total daily dial time, uh, total daily dials, your contacts, your current session. Uh, again, your goal is 100 per week or 20 per day. Uh, good luck out there.